Steve Miani here doing the junkyard crawl at One Stop Towing in Brimfield, Mass. There's a big question. Where do doctors go when they get sick? Well, the same question applies to tow trucks. Where do they go when they get sick? To the junkyard. <laughs> now, One Stop Towing has been around for like 40 years. And back between, oh, 64 and 66, when this truck was brand new, this truck was rigged out for towing uh, wrecks in the middle of the night. And again, this was One Stop's uh, number two truck for a good long time, not anymore. But again, this is a 64 through 66 F350, a heavy duty piece. Keep in mind that 1964 was the year that the body grew this sort of little sculpted line right here, a very unique style again, 64 through 66. Now, 65 is the first year for twin I-beam front suspension, which is sort of like a live axle broken in two or split in the middle and hinged with coils. Better ride than a beam axle, but only seen on F100 and light duty half tonners, never on big guys like this. So in this one, we're going to find, there it is. This is the live axle up front with the leaf springs seen on all F200 through, oh, everything on up from there. But this is something kind of cool. This has the optional 352. That's an FE series engine. And I always, when I see these, look right down here. If you see bolts, one, two, three of them, that's a cross-bolted engine. In other words, like a 427 Cobra kind of an engine. And I have seen things like that in the junkyard. Not here. This is a 352 two-barrel, which was a factory option on these Ford pickups of the day. Under the hood, let's have another look. Yeah, and there it is. Two barrel carburetor, pretty typical stuff right there. Uh, four barrels were generally seen on Thunderbirds and passenger cars where the trucks are more about economy and efficiency and torque, so the two barrel did the job just fine. Heavy duty radiator, of course, on the F350. And this one here has a homemade push bar and grill protector. What a monster that is right there. And that's also there for ballast. You gotta remember when you tow a 5,000 pound Cadillac or Imperial at the tail of the car, the nose gets kind of light. So this weight up front helps the nose to stay down a little better when lifting heavy loads at the rear. And here we have again, these are the, uh, I think 16 or 17 inch wheels. Uh, Bud style wheels with six lugs, heavy duty stuff, a far uh, distance from the F100's you know, five bolt lightweight stuff inside. And again, this is a custom cab. It has uh, a little bit of upgrades inside. Now this has been radically modified, high back buckets, probably out of some kind of a, maybe a Japanese import, who knows. Uh, four speed manual transmission. And again, you think of all the late nights, the on call duty of the tow truck driver, 2 a.m. Friday night, bar opens, bar closes, guys head off into the trees, literally. And uh, this is the truck that would go pull them out of the woods and bring the cars to the junkyard. Now the bed or the tow unit on this thing is I think homemade. Today, companies like Holmes will sell you a pre-made tow truck unit. You bolt onto your, uh, your straight truck and you go towing. Uh, this one is totally analog, totally homemade with I-beams and H-beams. And keep in mind, no hydraulic cylinders here. This is completely completely done analog. This is the pulley wheel with the cable driven by an electric motor. And so basically uh, old school pulleys, cable goes up, controllers are right here. Now, if you watch any of those reality shows with tow trucks, now you see the guy with his handheld module lifting the freight liner out of the ravine, not here. This is all done mechanically by hand. These are the levers. Uh, here is the uh, the tow unit right here. This is the part that goes under the bumper. These haven't changed that much. Uh, these still have the sort of canvas straps. This goes underneath the frame. And these straps here ride right against the bumper of the vehicle to do minimal damage versus a hook that would just rip a hole in the frame. But again, look at the pulley. Look at the cable. Think of all the GTOs and Charger RTs and Studebaker Avantis and Chevy Novas and Chevelles and Buick GSs. This thing undoubtedly pulled out of the woods when their drivers took them for the high speed runs and crashed them. Happened a lot. But again, this is pretty cool, man. It's dual exhaust, little flappers here to keep water out. They're weighted right there. Home brewed stuff right there. Again, dual exhaust on a 352 two barrel. Another 10 horsepower, but it looks cool. And right here, this is pretty crazy right here. This is a worm driven gear. Now this is another pulley. Wrap a chain or a cable around this thing, turn it, and this functions right here to pull a car or whatever you want out of the woods from the side of the truck. But there it is right there. Very analog and it still works. This is the kind of thing that'll never wear out. So that's the story of where old tow trucks go when they die. 
to the junkyard. And again, a great example of a 64 through 66 F350 tow truck. It's worked hard and it's deserved a nice rest, which is where it is right now. So it begs the question, where do doctors go when they get sick? Well, they go to the hospital, tow trucks go to the junkyard. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mignanti YouTube channel and keep it on the road or this thing's gonna come looking for you.